Every single day, every coach, every kid, we've been breaking it down on war path. Like, we're a warlike mentality. We're working for a purpose. Like, not a single day's wasted. Our team motto is, uh, what's our job? Love each other. What's his job? Love us. So we take that to heart and uh, we just like care for each other. We became closer as a team and just the messages he's been sending us after every single practice, be the most physical team on the field and to love each other and play as a team has been great. 15 and 0. 15 and 0. Yes, sir. It's a war path. Exactly. We break it down every day to war, war path because all went through it's a war. Two years ago, I mean, I was like the only one here. So at first it was just like, we were just a team that was just there, you know, a team that was just overlooked. We were classified as undisciplined. Just a lot of athletes. And well, when Coach Watson got here, he told us the first thing that we're gonna work on is discipline. First day of spring practice, it's just been discipline, 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 discipline. But now that we're going in as a hunter, you know, it's like we got a red target on our back. And you either win or you lose. You either hungry, you gotta fight for it every day. Cause like I said, it's a war path. It's a war every day, but it's a path to get to that war. Offensively, number 12, Tamario Vereen. He started every game for us last year as a sophomore receiver. Um, if you look at him, he's tall, he's long, he's about 6'3", 190. He, last year he was just a good athlete in space. This year he's becoming a good receiver. He's sticking his routes, he's creating separation. He's reading man or zone coverage. He's sticking routes and he's settling when he's supposed to. And he's such a good kid. Like he's gonna be a weapon. He's gonna have a breakout year, I really believe that. Defensively is Javian Browder. He's another uh, rising junior. Uh, Browder will be number three for us this year. Anytime we do one-on-ones, he's the first kid jumping in there, extremely physical, and he's one of those kids you can tell that isn't, hasn't been a solidified starter yet, so he's just trying to find any way to get on the field, and he's going to just because of how, how he practices day in and day out. Fred, what's, who, who is the team that you're looking forward to playing uh, later on this fall? I'm looking look forward to playing Rossview. Rossview? Yes, sir. Why? Because, I mean, they, they talking about <laughs> it. They said, good. <laughs> Since we since we got over here, they've been talking a lot of junk. Now I want to know, I want them to talk with their pads first. <laughs> yes. Talk about a little bit about Devin said he's coming up with the offense now. How how is that how is that transition been? Uh, you know, at first we would always go to the field every day. You know, just to get used to timing. It's been a little different, of course, because you know it's different because Dev is. Dev is great though. <laughs> Dev got hands. Oh, yeah. Dev definitely got hands though. I can throw a ball in triple coverage. Dev know he's finna get smacked. He's still gonna catch the ball. We are a team. We're unified. Like everything that I talk about day in and day out is we're together. Like I ask our kids, like you heard today, we break down practice. What's your job? Their job is to love each other. What's my job is to love them. And we talk about if you really love somebody, you're gonna be honest with them. You're gonna hold them accountable. You're gonna make sure they're doing the little things right.